it is a new chapter. The topic is about the equations of a straight line. First, now we go to have a revision about how to draw the graph of a linear equation in two unknowns. For example, this equation y equal to x plus one. How we can draw the graph like that on a coordinate plane? Okay, we have a revision about how to draw the graph of a linear equation. For example, uh, I go to draw the graph y equal to x plus one. We need some coordinates, so we put some numbers into the equation. For example, you can choose any number for x, uh, any number. So, for, uh, for example, I choose zero and put this number in the equation and get y equal to 0 plus 1 equal to 1. So 0, 1 is the first coordinate we get. Okay, and then next one, we get maybe 2 to 3 coordinates. We put any number, for example, I choose x equal, x equal to 1 and get y equal to 2. 1 plus 1 equal to 2 and get a second coordinate okay and get at least two coordinate so and we get the third one and y equal to 2 plus 1 equal to 3 and get three coordinate here and then I draw three prongs on the graph Zero, one, one, two, and two, three, and connect the points by a straight line. Okay. That is the graph of the this equation y equal to x plus one. We have learned how to draw the graph from the equation. Now, conversely, how to find the equation from a given graph or some given information. For example, here, if I if the we have a point and a slope. How to find the equation of this straight line L here? In this part, we have two given information. One is the point A, x1, y1. x1, y1 is a known number, is a two known number, and also the slope M is also a known number. How to find the equation? Here we need to have a revision about the slope. We have learned this equation m equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. It's the equation to find the it is the formula to find the, the slope from two given points. Here um, in the graph, you see point A and also point P. We we let uh, P is any point on the on the straight line L. We call it x y. I put P a two point in the equation, just like uh, this here. Y minus y one over x minus x one. It is equal to the slope m because. Uh, P and A lie on the straight line, so the slope of P A must equal to M. I multiply the denominator to right side, we we'll get this formula. We call it point slope form. Point slope form. We will use this uh, equation in the following path. Okay, look at some example here. And um, in this part, we need to use the formula Poin's law form. I use this format. This format just like the uh, quite similar to the to the formula of slope. Uh, 
just difference is uh, y2, x2 become x and y. Okay, we use this format. Okay, in uh, question A. In the example, slope is 3 and the pawn is 1 and 2. So put in the pawn slope form is y minus 2, x minus 1 equal to 3. And then move the denominator to the right side means y minus 2 equal to 3 times x minus 1 and then expand the right side y minus 2 3x minus 3 and finally keep y at the left side move minus to the right side and simplify this become 3x minus 1 it is a final answer it is an equation of the straight line in the graph uh, a part and then try one more example part b uh, y uh, y um, equal to uh, y minus negative 3 over x minus 4 equal to negative 1 over 2 and simplify this y plus 3 equal to negative 1 over 2 times the denominator expand the bracket negative 4 times negative 1 over 2 become positive 2 and move the positive 3 to right side become 2 minus 3 so the answer y equal to negative 1 over 2x minus 1 it is a final answer okay, next example we use the pawn slope form we need two information point now x1 y1 is 2 5 and slope m is not given here but uh, it the, the incantation the angle here is 45 degree so first I need to find this uh, slope slope m equal to tangent 45 degree is equal to 1 and then now you we can use the pawn slope form y minus 5 over x minus 2 equal to 1 so and uh, we simplify this I can find the answer y equal to x plus 3 here and then part B determine where the P line on L we can use the result of A we just need to prove, put the no two number and uh, negative 5 is x, negative 2, negative 2 is y and put in this equation to check whether the left side and right side are equal or not so first left side left side is equal is y so y is negative 2 right side right side is x plus 3 so it's negative 5 plus 3 equal to negative 2 it is equal to the left side so P line on L if here is not equal is not equal to left side you will set that P is not line on L now they are equal so P is line on L the second formula to find an equation um, in the last part we have pawn slope form uh, in this in this case here it, we call slope intercept form first we still have a known number m is a slope the straight line l pass through the point on the y axis we call it y intercept y intercept c a long number 
we can use the Poisson's law form again. We have this equation. Just put the x1, y1 is 0 and c, and get this one. After simplify this equation and move the negative c to the right side, we will get this form. We call it slope intercept form. Slope intercept form. Now we try uh, the example to use the slope intercept form y equal to mx plus c. m is a slope. c is the y intercept. So for this equa uh, example, find the equation of straight line with slope 5 and ne y intercept negative 3. y equal to slope is 5, so it is 5x and minus 3. This is the answer for this uh, example. This example is the still about the slope intercept form, but use it in a reverse way. We we know that y equal to mx plus c is the we call slope intercept form. Now the equation two x plus uh, minus three y plus six. I go to find the slope and y intercept. That means we need to find the the m and c. So I need to change the equation in this format. That means y is the subject. So first we move uh, negative three y to right side become three y, and divide all both sides uh, divide by three is two over three x plus six over three. So slope m equal to um, this number. This number is m, c, 2 over 3, and c, uh, y in the z, is 6 over 3 is 2. The third equation we call two-point form. Um, in this, uh, this part, uh, we have a straight line pass through two Given points, two given points. That uh, that means uh, the a x one y one and b x two y two are known number. Again, we use the points of form. The points of form like that. But the m now I uh, is not given, so we need to find m. But m we can find uh, with the equation slope equation with two given points so we can replace the m here with this fraction so we you have uh, the final formula like the uh, in this box we call this two point form now uh, we try to use uh, the two point form to find the equation and uh, these two numbers, uh, x1, y1, x2, y2, uh, either one is x1, is okay. Maybe you, you can use this is x1, y1, or this one is x1, y1, is okay. Uh, and they, you will get the same answer. Okay, put the, the number into the formula. Uh, y minus y1, x over, uh, over x minus x1. We choose the first one called x1, y1. And the right side, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And then simplify uh, the right side, simplify the, the fraction at the right side. Uh, this number, uh, negative 12 over 4. Negative 12 over 4 and simplify become negative 3. And then move the denominator to right side. Expand the bracket and simplify. 
the answer is y equal to negative three x minus four. One more example um, for part A. We used to two point four, but now we only have two intercept x intercept and y intercept. So we need to uh, rewrite it in the coordinate for x intercept. That means the x intercept is the point negative two zero. For the y intercept, we write it in the coordinate is zero eight. Um, and then we now use the two point form y minus zero x minus negative two and right side is the eight minus zero. 0 minus negative 2. Simplify the right side uh, become 8 over 2 is 4. And the left side y over x plus 2. And uh, move the denominator to the right side. You get the answer 4x plus 8. Okay, and then part B. For part B, you have point P, K, negative 4 line on L. K is the X coordinate, and Y is uh, Y coordinate is negative 4. I so we put uh, K and negative 4 into the equation in the part A. So it's negative 4 equal to 4 times K plus 8. And then you solve it. k equal to negative 3. Some uh, special example here. We go to find the equation of a horizontal line. Uh, for example, in this graph, uh, the horizontal line uh, passes through the point. Uh, all the y coordinate are the same is equal to 4, so the equation of it is very simple, it's y equal to 4. Uh, no, need use, uh, no need to use any formula. And the second kind is a vertical line, it's quite similar to the horizontal line. Uh, in this graph, you can see the, the x coordinate of it, of the, the points are the same. So. The equation of it is just x is uh, x equal to three. Also, no need to use any uh, formula. You just observe the, the 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 coordinate of these points. And finally, the the some special line, the straight line, is passed through the origin. For this kind of uh, straight line, the y-intercept is zero. So, in the slope-intercept form, the c must be zero. So, it's the the equation of it is quite simple. Just y equal to m x.